Thermal Mass Flow Meter Thermal mass flow elements work on the principle of measuring heat transfer, they are traditionally been used for gas measurements, but designs for liquid flow measurements are available. These mass meters also operate independent of density, pressure, and viscosity. Thermal mass flow meters have two RTD sensors heated sensor temperature slash reference sensor. In a protective 316 SS sheath and are driven by a flow sensor, proprietary sensor drive circuit. One of the sensors is self-heated, flow sensor, and the other sensor, temperature slash reference sensor, measures the gas temperature. The pair is referred to as the sensing element and is either installed in a probe as an insertion style, or inserted into a pipe section as an inline flow meter. As gas flows by the heated sensor, flow sensor, the gas molecules carry heat away from the surface of the sensor, and the sensor cools down as it loses energy. The sensor drive circuit replenishes the lost energy by heating the flow sensor up until it is a constant temperature differential above the reference sensor. The electrical power required to maintain a constant temperature differential is directly proportional to the gas mass flow rate. Advantages Operate independent of density, pressure, and viscosity. Low flow sensitivity Disadvantages Thermal mass flow meters can have very high range ability and reasonable accuracy, but they also have serious limitations. Potential problems include the condensation of moisture in saturated gases, on the temperature detector. Such condensation will cause the thermometer to read low and can lead to corrosion. Coating or material buildup on the sensor also will inhibit heat transfer and cause the meter to read low. Additional potential sources of error include variations in the specific heat caused by changes in the gas's composition, 